Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Monday, March 18th. Shh. I'm going to show you guys a, a rare species. This is very rare, guys. Very rare. And actually, there's more than one of them. There's more than one of them. It's very rare. Very rare. Hi. Kids playing. Kids outside playing. It's very rare, right? I say it kind of, kind of jokingly, but that's rare, right? We have a we have a good group on my street of kids who play outside, right? Have fun, are active, do things, right? Without having to beg them to go outside and play. So that prompted me. What's up, Michelle? To do a video, to do a video about about keeping our kids healthy. What's up, Matthew? Keeping our kids healthy, keeping our kids fit, right? Keeping our kids active, right? And what I see as maybe the biggest reasons why they're not active, right? So, you know, they don't they they have a different environment than we lived in, right? They they we didn't have all the fun things to do to distract us from playing and keep us on the couch like they do. We didn't have iPhones. We didn't have Xboxes. We didn't have cable television with 100,000 channels. So, yes, that's part of it. But we're also to blame, right? So I'm going to give you guys four tips that I think will help you guys to help your kids stay fit. And be healthy. And we need to address this. I mean, the, the obesity rates of kids is ridiculous, right? There's no way we should have any kids obese, let alone at the levels uh, and rates that we see it. So so at the very least, we should we should address it from that standpoint. But then you factor in the fact that these kids are 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 putting their whole net worth, their whole value system into how they look and how they feel about themselves. And they're hiding away in their rooms and they're being they're being inundated with all these these messages of what they should be, what they're not, and and getting depressed at younger and younger ages, committing suicide at younger and younger ages. And a lot of that stems from self-esteem, right? And self-identity and self-confidence. And a lot of that stems from the fact they don't they don't exercise and they don't have the right tools or guidance <clears throat> to lead them. So my kids are, are fairly active, as you guys know. Um, and part of that is luck. Part of that is God helping me help them. But I also think I've created some things in an environment to help them to be active. And so I'm going to give you guys Coach Bobby's four rules to help make your kids or keep your kids healthy and fit and have a have a chance at going into adolescence and their teenage years and their 20s and adulthood with a chance to be healthy a chance to have good habits a chance to feel comfortable and confident about who they are and where they are physically all right so it's four rules or four tips two don'ts two do's like two things that that we need to to stop doing or not do and two things that I think we should be doing or or should do, all right? So number one, right, we need to stop being hypocrites, right? I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings here, I know. But how can we ask our kids to get off the damn couch and exercise when we don't, when we won't, right? Nothing drives me more crazy than going to a game or coaching at a game and watching a parent scream at their kid to hustle, to work hard when they don't do it. When they won't do it, when they've told their kids, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to get on this exercise program, I'm going to eat better, and they don't do it. Right? So rule one is don't be a hypocrite. Right? Our kids are smarter than we think they are. Right? And I go, I know, I'm a parent, I know there's that old adage, do as I say, not as I do. That shit don't work. Especially with, 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 with stuff they see every day. Right. So rule one is if you want them to be healthy and think about fitness in a healthful, productive way, you need to do it. 
You need to start eating better. Exercising. Stop complaining about being overweight. Asking them, do these clothes look good on me? Does this fit well? You need to start doing that. Number one. Number one, right? Create an environment that, that they see you working hard, right? Taking health seriously, right? Taking your, your, your confidence and self-esteem seriously. They see you on the couch depressed. They see you eating chips and eating ice cream and watching those reality shows and feeling bad about yourself. How are they supposed to feel, right? And you're so caught up in yourself, you let them go to the room by themselves feeling guilty and feeling overweight and feeling feeling less than what they should be the beautiful young child they are because you're not doing it so step one rule one tip one is let's let's stop being hypocrites right let's stop being hypocrites right number two right let's stop being enablers right we enable them to be lazy we enable them to eat unhealthily we're buying the food for them Right, we're the ones that won't that won't sign them up for events. We're the ones that have given them the TV in the room, have given them the Xbox, have given them the iPhone, have given them everything they can do to sit down on the couch for hours and not do anything. Right? So we enable them. And rather than confront them and and deal with the discomfort of an argument, of a discussion about something, because we're not doing it, right? That's step one. Right? We give in and we enable them to be lazy. Right, we're buying all the junk foods to make them happy that they're screaming about, that they're arguing about. Right, rather than try to give them healthy food, knowing they're gonna complain about it, we would we, we give in and buy them junk food, right? And take them out to fast food because we're too lazy to cook. Right? So we enable it. Right? So step one is we have to stop being hypocrites. Step two, we have to stop being enablers. Okay, so those are the things that we have to stop doing. Those two. Stop. Being a hypocrite, right? Do what you want them to do, right? You want them to exercise, you exercise. You want them to eat better, you eat better, all right? Stop enabling them, right? You don't want your son drinking, drinking Coke all day? Stop buying them Coke, right? You don't want your son on the couch playing Fortnite? Turn the Xbox off. You bought it, right? You bought it. You paid the bill. Turn it off, right? Tie time to the with the xbox to activity outside go outside and play for an hour and then you have a tv for an hour or your fortnite for an hour right we're the grown-ups guys stop enabling that right so step one don't be a hypocrite step two stop enabling them all right so then what then what what can you do productive wise to help them right step three encourage them to do stuff Right, part of why our kids don't try stuff is because we're scared they'll fail. Right? Your son wants to try baseball. Right? But you see him as not being athletic and don't want to see him fail, so you don't sign him up for baseball. Right? Your son is, is short and overweight but loves basketball. But you discourage him from playing basketball because you think he can't play basketball in high school, which is stupid. Right? So, or... You're afraid of the time commitment that you have to make because your son or daughter wants to play softball or basketball or baseball. So we have to flip that. If we want our kids to be active, we have to encourage them to do stuff that makes them active. Whatever it is, skateboarding, running, basketball, football, whatever. Right? We have to encourage that. Right? And not use our fears or our judgment as to who or what they are to disallow them from doing that. Right? So step one, stop being a hypocrite. Right? Step two, stop being, being an enabler. Step three, encourage them to try stuff, to do stuff. If they want to try something, go along with it. Right? Say, cool, great idea. Let's go try that. Right? My daughter, you know, tried every sport in, in middle school. Right? Basketball, she wasn't very good at it. Soccer, she wasn't very good at it volleyball and she got cut from all the teams except soccer right she finally found something she was passionate about that was dance which she's been doing for five years and now she's she's back to basketball but along the way i let her try all those things even though i knew she had never dribbled a basketball knew she had never played volleyball right but i encouraged her to try it right i encouraged her to try it so 
Step one again, don't be a hypocrite, guys. Right? Again, don't be a hypocrite. Be, be something your kids can model. Step two, don't be the person that's enabling your kid to be unhealthy. Right? Don't bring home all the junk food. Right? Don't, don't create an environment where they can sit down all day and watch TV or play Fortnite. Right? Number three, encourage activities that they, that they think about, that they inquire about. Let them try it. Right? And then step four is critical. Right? Because what's going to happen is they're going to they're fail at stuff. Right? They're going to fall down. They're going to they're get cut from teams. They're going to be horrible at a sport or two or three. Right? They're going to try to work out and not lose weight like you sometimes. Right? But we have to reward the process. If it's one thing I do well as a parent is I ingrained in my kids, I don't give a damn what the score is. I don't give a damn if you win or lose. I don't give a damn if you start or not. What I care about is the process. Right? And people who go to my boot camps or watch my videos know I don't give a damn about any of that stuff. If you do A, B, and C, that should lead to D. Right? A, B, and C should lead to D. If it doesn't, then something's wrong with the process. We'll fix that. Right? But when you reward the process, when you reward the kids getting up and going outside, when you reward your kids exercising, when you reward and encourage them to do the process, right, regardless of the result, then they'll want to do that because they know that they get uh, benefit and rewarded for trying. Right? Too many of us are, are so caught up in the results. Right? We all see that at the games. Right? You watch your kid and he's, and, he, and he's not doing something well and you're yelling at the wrong stuff. Right? The missed shot. Right? The, uh, the missed tackle. Right? The strikeout. Right? We're getting mad at the wrong stuff. And so you'll never see me, and, and if you have, feel free to comment. You will never see me yell at my kid for a missed shot or a missed catch or a missed tackle. Never. What you will see me yell at is hustle down the fucking court. Play defense. Be a good teammate. Right? Don't get frustrated. Don't whine about bad calls. Process. Process. When I come home, my kids are working out. I reward the process. I don't care what they're lifting, how much they weigh. What I care about is that they're doing the process. And when you do that, they begin to, to appreciate and enjoy the work behind it. My kids love the work. They love the grind. And people on here know my son and my daughter. They love to work because they know daddy loves that they love to work. Right? And they know, eventually we all know, that that work leads to results. And then you begin to see wins. You begin to see inches fall off. You begin to see the weight go down. You begin to see your point, your points per game average go up. You begin to see better grades. All of that stuff, right? But it starts with the process. So stop, stop rewarding or worrying about the end results with stuff, right? Worrying about where your kid is at in relation to other kids. Worry about where he or she is at in relation to where he or she was at yesterday. And if they're taking steps forward from where they were, were reward that. Encourage that. Right? Don't compare them to everyone else because you're afraid of it. Let them be who they are. Let them grow. Let them learn. Let them enjoy improvement. Right? So a recap real quick. All right? Four tips. What's up, Rob? What's up, Hong? What's up, Mindy? Heather, four tips again. Coach Bobby's four tips to help your kids get and stay healthy or have a chance to do that. Number one, stop being a hypocrite, right? Stop asking your kids to do stuff that you won't do. Right? My kids respect me because I don't have them do anything I won't do, right? They see me doing stuff. They see me grinding. They see me working out. They see me falling down and trying stuff, right? They see me failing and getting back up. Not only in fitness, but in everything I do, in videos, in my business, in whatever. So, so stop being a hypocrite. If you want them to eat healthy, you eat healthy. You want them to exercise, you exercise. Simple as that. All right, number two, stop enabling them. Right? You want, to, you want them to eat healthily, you eat healthy. Right? My kids, you know, we, we, we eat our share of, of fun food. 
right? But my house has, has, has an abundance of stuff that's healthy, right? Whole grain stuff, fruits and vegetables, right? My daughter fasts like I fast. My son does ketones like I do ketones, right? I enable them, right, in the positive way, not in negative ways. So don't be a negative enabler. That's two. Those are the two don'ts. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be an enabler, right? Then we got two positives, right? The two do's, right? Encourage them to try stuff, right? They're around people. They watch television. They want to try stuff. Stop saying no. Stop saying you can't do that. You can't be a basketball player. You can't be a football player, right? Let them try. Encourage them, right? Let them figure out what they can or can't do, right? Not you. Let them figure it out. And then four is when they try stuff and they fail or they fall or they stumble. Encourage the process, right? Reward the process, right? Good job trying. Way to work. Way to go push. Way to go to practice early. Way to sprint on those, on those, on those sprints. Last week you couldn't finish the sprints. Today you did. Those small things matter to kids. Like the small things matter because they can't get the big stuff yet. Right, I can't be a starter yet on my team. I can't be an all-star yet. But if you witness and reward the fact that they're making improvements in the sprints, in the balls they caught, in their attitude, that means a lot to kids. And it makes them want to go back to practice. If all you worry about is the result, right, and they're not, they're not there yet, why would they want to go to practice anymore? They wouldn't. All right? So those are my four tips, guys. And we're, at, we're in summertime now. You know, I get it. The, the fall and winter was a good excuse for all of us to be lazy, right? But now it's spring. Now it's spring, going to be summer. Our kids should be out playing. And we shouldn't be the ones that are, are making it impossible or challenging for them to embrace health and fitness, for them to, to make it part of their lives, right? Because as, as I said in the opening, Right, our kids are at a crossroads, many of them. Right? It's harder and harder for kids to find ways to exercise. For us it was easy. I mean you could every day you went out and played. Every day. You know, they're at a crossroads now. And if we don't help them, they're gonna be the, the, the rates of obesity are gonna go up. The rates of depression among kids is gonna go up. The rates of suicide amongst kids is gonna go up. If we don't stop it. Right? If we don't help them. Right, they're, we're the adults, they're the kids, and we can see what's around the corner. They can't. So if we don't help them, then who? Right? If we don't guide them, then who? If we don't provide uh, leadership to them, then who? All right. So I'll list the four tips in the uh, the body of this, but but let's 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 make that as important as our as our futures as as the things that we hold dear. Right. Let's make their health and their fitness and their self-confidence and their self-esteem. Let's make that a priority. All right. All right, guys. So oh, nice day out here, but I got some allergies. So I'll check in again pretty soon walking around. But again, that's rare, guys. See kids playing. Right. Let's let's make that less rare going forward. All right, guys. Love you. Have a good night. Bye bye.